<laughs> what is up everyone welcome back to the channel and happy foreman friday so it's about nine o'clock at night and maurice is just about to head back home but let me tell you a little bit about what happened during our harvest fest visit everything went really really well finn and maurice were able to have a super in-depth talk yes maurice did share the dirty details about his relationship with kyra and even though finley isn't surprised she would never dream of saying i told you so maurice also disclosed to his mom that he has dreams to re-enter the culinary arts career and finn thinks that's a wonderful idea but he should kind of tiptoe into the field versus just diving straight on in and even though maurice isn't a huge fan of like working in like the fast food um you know gig or whatever he might consider it for now she also gave him 500 simoleons just to keep him afoot and then she said hey why don't you make sure that you take that uh, ham dinner home because me and robin will never finish it and there's actually nine uh servings left so that is more than enough i literally just got home and what do i see jake on the couch minding his own business watching his movie while this evil gnome is about to take his head off like i didn't even place him here he's just big chilling on maurice's bed just acting all inconspicuous and ish i don't know what's going on uh but one thing i do know is this house is a literal mess maurice just took out the garbage and now he's kind of mopping up the floors a little bit i did get a question i think in the last episode about the whole mopping floors interaction it's a mod if i remember if i remember who created this mod i'll be sure to link it in the um description down below and if not just search like the sims 4 mop mod and you'll probably be able to find it the reason why i downloaded it is because it's actually a lot easier for me to mop in small spaces versus vacuums because they don't always work all right i need to put the ham dinner in the fridge we definitely need to get everybody um to bad because it is super super late martin had such a fun time with melissa oh my goodness gracious he is literally so excited to have found his person and i'm not gonna lie jake and uh jake and janelle definitely had a really good time as well things are getting very serious for them I'm not gonna lie they didn't do much of you know eating <laughs> any um grand meals they actually just hung out in the bed mostly all day but that's fine before maurice heads to bed we need to go and deposit at the 500 simoleons that our mom gave us and we have our neighbors saying can you kindly keep the noise down i can hear you through the drywall i don't know bitch maybe move into uh, a different apartment with thicker walls i really don't know what to tell you i mean when you live in a public place expect some public noises i think after we add in this 500 simoleons we'll have like around 700 or so yeah holy crap 705 simoleons i'm not really sure why this grim reaper gnome keeps following jake around the apartment but it's starting to get really scary jake is sitting here at a whole like four o'clock in the morning <laughs> just contemplating where does he go from here janelle has been putting a lot of pressure on him to get out of the game and it's totally blood in blood out when it comes to these types of situations whereas jake's boss is putting more pressure on him to commit and he really doesn't have very many options because if he does leave the game well he's not gonna leave with a head attached to his body for the first time in a really long time things are going his way and he just doesn't want to mess it up but yet he did pledge allegiance to a organization that really just owns him i don't know the whole thing's a whole mess anyways we're gonna get some water because thanks to you guys <laughs> jake has learned how to inject his testosterone wow those testosterone injections that animation is just too freaking realistic for me i couldn't even show it but anyways we're feeling a very 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 energetic in fact we have this energized moodlet that says pumped up booyah time to work out martin's alarm is going off obviously we're gonna have him go to work he does need to use the restroom so we kind of need to clean up the bathroom really quick i'm gonna actually have him uh put this back into his inventory okay i'll help you out because if your brother sees this <laughs> he would literally throw you out into the streets and poor maurice is sleeping but we got to take advantage of this hype so we're gonna come over and basically box our little hearts out part of me wants him wants him that didn't make sense part of me wants him to uh try out the sparring machine and back at the kettlebell because i don't think he has any sort of experience with sparring but 
but hey, you never know when it might actually come in handy. Anyways, um, I think Martine is just kind of cleaning up a little bit. He's getting ready for work. He's putting on his clothes. We have a bunch of these gnomes that we're going to sell because they're super duper creepy and they're blocking um, all of our like routing uh, roots. So let me go and have him poop real quick. Who didn't flush the toilet? I bet you it was Jake, honestly. Anyways, Maurice is just about to wake up. He is feeling really, really inspired this morning. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of having only one bathroom. Somebody's taking a deuce while you really need to take a shower. He actually, um, he really wants to uh, cloud gaze with Jacob Felder. Maybe he just wants to spend some quality, you know, quality time with his bestie. He's also feeling like maybe getting back into the dating game a little bit. So that's really cool, too. He freaking has to use the bathroom, y'all, and clean his freaking nads. Like, now. We don't have time to wait. <laughs> Martine, get out of the bathroom. I gotta go. Uh, Finley wants to come over. Oh, got anyone to introduce us to? Not right now. Not right now not right now mom i'm gonna have to let that go to voicemail because i literally cannot right now okay so obviously we know jake likes fitness that's a given i mean is he getting any like more swole <gasps> actually just as i said that oh my god i think he is hold on we got another movelet that says good workout a good workout always boosts the spirits yes and we have um a contextual frustration the steroids are giving jake a boatload of pent-up sexual energy he needs to find an outlet for it. Oh my god. So it's already like starting like the first one It's already starting to affect Jake's mood. So weird. Well, he better get it together and show good face because we have a baby shower to go to and it isn't just any baby shower. It's Kyra's baby shower. Surprise, surprise. Janelle finally dropped the news onto Kyra that Jake and her are dating and that she if she really is the best friend that she claims to be then she just needs to get on board and accept it um obviously kyra uh decided to invite janelle over to the baby shower which they're having at kyra's apartment and obviously milton's gonna be there um clearly maurice is still kind of in the black about this whole entire thing like he has no idea that um Kyra is even pregnant and it, I mean honestly like who's gonna who's gonna break it to him you know because it's kind of it's kind of sad and it might hurt his feelings might do more harm than good so we're just gonna you know probably keep that <laughs> in our back pocket for now um let me see what we're feeling like having this morning oh let's make some I don't know I was gonna make some strawberry pancakes but egg and soldiers or just breakfast cereal uh or honey banana toast actually you know what let's just keep it easy we'll do some breakfast cereal I don't know what the difference is between getting it from this little thing or the fridge hopefully we're able to snag this i just downloaded a bunch of custom recipes so i'm hoping that they work but anyway back to the baby shower yes we're going i'm really excited actually i love parties well jake loves parties he's a little nervous to see kyra again after everything um but she's trying to keep it kind of small and she figured well if I invite Jake and Janelle, like, obviously, if I invite Janelle, she's my best friend. But if I invite Jake, maybe I'll get more presents. I don't know. The girl's a narcissist. I don't know. She's, like, weird. Super duper weird. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I love how um, we're going to go and eat some cereal out from the laundry room. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like, that makes sense perfect sense i did clear this counter for it to work but okay and then maurice is like nah i'm too good for that cereal i'm gonna have a little little bit of pancake but uh, i wanted him to use jake's computer really quick because i was hoping that maybe we could find um a little job um jake wants to level up in the fitness skills so maybe we'll have him work out a little bit more now for jobs let me see let me see let me see okay so we actually have a couple different options maurice can become a barista he'll only work on the weekends and it'll be super duper early but he'll make at least 50 dollars every time that he goes and it's just about to be the weekend so i think this is a perfect job to snag and i could definitely see him being a little barista like wearing the outfit and stuff he would look so cute let me see how close we are to leveling up in that fitness skill okay actually we're kind of far away like super super duper far away but we're gonna push the limits do a more little more hefty li uh he heavy living i said hefty <laughs> um I'm I'm gonna have Maurice kind of clean up a little bit and you know what before we do let's call our mom and let her know that we just picked up a job at the local cafe I'm sure she's gonna be so excited and happy for us and I'm you know what it's the baby is of steps that makes such a big difference right he's really excited and it looks like uh Jake just reached 
a lifestyle daily cap and I'm kind of wondering what that would be I bet you it'd be like a jug head or something hold on I don't know where these are so just give me a little second to like kind of find out so lifestyles what is it that he's working on my guess is it's probably something to do with um being like energetic something in that category Somebody needs to come over here and talk some sense into your man because Jake is really out here questioning whether or not a proposal of all things in the midst of his current life crisis is a good idea. I don't really know what the reason of him wanting to get married is, but it definitely feels like a little bit of a rush. Jake Philip Felder, we're here for a baby shower, not for you to throw a whole tantrum like the baby. Jake doesn't want to go inside. He feels like he's doing his best friend dirty by being up for this lame ass baby shower. That has nothing to do with him. He's like, why did I have to come? Janelle didn't want to be here by herself at all anyway. And I'm pretty sure the entire freaking third floor of the apartment building can hear them having like a little like a little bickering fit outside but you know what it's gonna be okay everything's gonna be fine just get in through the front door and show face oh my gosh so a few things that have been going on um behind the scenes that you may not know or before prior to um this incident obviously is well this here is donovan milton uh <laughs> milton um or aka well we always call him milton but kirk's brother other. Now, Donovan actually had a thing for Janelle back in the day. Now, Janelle obviously isn't going to tell Jake about this because he would probably knock him right off the bar stool. But um, yeah, he he he's an aspiring doctor, and I mean, Kyra might have tried to set them up on a blind date. And I'm not gonna lie, um. Janelle thinks that Milton or Donovan is a little pretentious and he actually thinks that she's like super duper headstrong. Anyways, over here we have the BB nursery. How beautiful. I love this set, you guys. I just did a review on it. Um, it is the Child Dream Room Kit by Max20. Absolutely Stunning. Anyways, I don't know where Kyra is, but I think she is over here um, kind of admiring these presents. We do need to have Jake and Janelle add their gift to the uh, the pile here. Jake also decided to bring, um, he did decide to bring uh, the lychee soda for Janelle because she isn't drinking. Actually, we do need to open the package. That's interesting. Can I get over there to do that? Or, oh, I can. Oh, that kind of sucks. I wish you were able just to like grab a case, but we can just kind of fill up this counter in case anybody um, wants any. And then we're going to grab, um, let me see, I could grab, I could have Jake grab a beer because he definitely needs to kind of like, you know, chill out a little bit. Donovan is kind of pretentious. I'm not going to lie to you. Janelle's first assumption of him wasn't exactly half wrong. He is a little judgy too and probably is looking at Jake right now thinking, hmm, you know, you could have probably did a hell of a lot better, even if it wasn't for me. So I think I'm going to go over and ask Donovan about his day. Not that I actually care. Jake does need to use the restroom. So we're going to kind of uh, kick up his bladder a little bit. He's coming in to see if Janelle needs anything, uh, any help in the kitchen. There is a pizza in the fridge that Kyra asked me to grab. You know when you're talking to somebody about your girl and it's like they have a thing for your girl because they also like talk good about your girl, but in a way that it almost makes you uncomfortable and you want to sock them in the face and mess up the pretty little nose of theirs. Yeah, Jake is kind of feeling that right now and he doesn't know how to handle it. The pizza pizza unfortunately won't come out of the refrigerator so janelle is going to have to maybe um order something or try to find a solution like lickety freaking split so i think what i need to do is order a delivery um i think i can order some como i think it's como robi cuisine some avocado maki rolls yes let me like grab four of those i don't know if this is like a serving or like one piece <laughs> but i'm gonna get we're gonna get five of those because i definitely want one she is having some serious cravings right now we're gonna grab um a little bit of bean at no 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 let's grab six ramens and or no five ramens how many people five ramens and then um a couple of beef uh yakisobas and i think that that should be 
um, good enough. So that's $150. For some reason, yeah, the pizza won't come out. But anyway, uh, Jake is just trying to be on his best behavior because embarrassing Janelle right now isn't an option. She would not be having that. He is feeling a little tipsy and slightly getting aggravated um, by Donovan. He, did, he, did, he, did, he doesn't really he doesn't really like him, <laughs> to be honest. And he has no idea that they were almost a thing, actually. Well, Janelle and Donovan were almost a thing, kind of, sort of. I don't know. But this would be a perfect opportunity to um, you know, kind of uh, be a little, oh, he's like getting all up close to his girl. I guess this is mine. The testosterone is definitely pumping through his veins. And uh, <laughs> what else is pumping is this Bud Light because he's really got to pee. But Janelle also really has to use the restroom. I got to keep a peep though for the delivery girl. So let me go ahead and accept that delivery while we're here. Um, okay, so Janelle's kind of like the organizer of this party for sure, for sure. And like I said, it's kind of going a little awkwardly, but also it's not not as bad as Jake nor Janelle thought so far so it's going good that's all that I can say because I really thought for a sec like <laughs> it was about to be a whole Jerry Springer episode um Jake needs to use the restroom I love how Milton just picked up his beer bottle he's like I don't even care dude you need to bounce I need to use this restroom like he is like coming in hot this chick I don't know what she's doing accepting her next delivery or what but she needs to bounce now I need Janelle to come over here and unload the delivery bag because we have a lot of things we need a nom on and then in case you guys were wondering um oh we're gonna have a gender reveal party too well sort of we're gonna do the gender reveal here in just a second but Kyra is like dead set dead set you guys on having a girl like that is her ultimate goal in life she wants a baby girl so she can I don't know just some sort of like self-absorbed reason I just I can't but anyways we're gonna put um some of the food here on the uh island and then anybody who wants like to grab a bite they can pick what they want kind of a thing it's like um, a potluck or a, a buffet <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna eat this. Is anyone even hungry? Jake is kind of tired. He's starting to crash right now. Uh, we're gonna grab maybe one of these avocado maki rolls. And Janelle, she's just gonna stick with the beef yakisoba. We're gonna let um, Milton have some ramen. Donovan can smell the food all the way in the living room and he's thinking you know what a maki roll sounds really good Jake kind of wants another beer Kyra isn't really feeling like she wants the 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 um the komorobi food at all like she's kind of being a little bit of a snatch about it I think she might even drill Janelle just for a hot second because this is how she is like you can't do anything right by this girl because even if you do the best like she's gonna be she's just gonna be rude so we're gonna insult her how about that because we, <laughs> we're miserable we're we're, we're we're like um what is it M baby mamazilla I don't even know she's like this is not what I wanted you didn't get my chicken stir fry or whatever the heck she's like girl just eat it it's like not even that big of a freaking deal like that's what she's thinking but I guess we're just gonna have the uh beef yakisoba she's like oh my god I'm so sorry like I thought it, I thought you wanted the yakisoba <sighs> my gosh I really hate her <laughs> I don't hate her she's freaking beautiful and like there's a lot of good qualities about Kyra but lately i can't find any um so our landlord is talking to us that's kind of weird i think uh, milton needs to use the bathroom um things are definitely like things are kind of getting hot between is he about to go to where's where he going no 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 no. things are kind of getting hot between donovan like i feel like donovan's slightly jealous of jake and whatever reason and he's kind of been trying to show like he's the better fit for her it's kind of weird i don't know how to exactly um say it i don't know if you've ever met anybody who like passively aggressively uh you know speaks of their accomplishments in a way to put you down that's kind of what it feels like right now and jake is just like trying so hard to keep it together janelle is like really 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 proud of him so we're gonna be petty betty and we're gonna give our girl a kiss just so donovan can see it or at least that is hypothetically um the goal so they're making out i love this party actually it's going pretty good all right anyway um now that things are kind of clean up a little bit we're gonna have Kyra go and clean or she's gonna take a piece of the cake I'm kind of nervous for her but we'll see how it goes hopefully she gets her wish because if she doesn't <laughs> this may not go so well okay so everybody we need to we need to have everybody come into the kitchen let's 
let's do it or whatever. Um, let me just tag in a little bit of a group so we can get this as org as possible. All right. So let's have everybody stand behind Kai. Kyra has to go pee. That's those pregnancy hormones kicking in here. And all right, baby girl, it's your time. Let's have everybody uh, take a piece together. Are we ready? And the baby is going to be a, I think it's a, hold on, a boy. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a boy. If I was Donovan right now, I would be really scared. Jake literally looks like he wants to rip him apart. I don't know what it is, but uh, that subtle little like side eye right there definitely speaks volumes. Kyra is over here throwing a freaking tantrum. She is devastated. In fact, she has to pull Middleton aside and she is literally bawling, bawling you guys on his shoulder because the baby's a freaking boy and Milton is trying his hardest to keep it together but this guy literally has no idea what he's in for he's trying to give her a little bit of a pep talk let's go in open some presents but literally you guys kyra can't do it in fact she actually wants to sneak a, pre a present blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sneak a present because that's just who she is but unfortunately i don't think she wants any part of this party anymore but she took the online survey and it said that she was having a girl how how could it be wrong kyra just simply doesn't understand now janelle's trying her best to kind of clean up the apartment because she can already see where this is gonna go um, they're pretty much ready to leave at this point because unfortunately Kyra has locked herself in the bathroom and does not want to come out. Milton is thinking desperately what he can do to kind of like make um, his fiance feel better about the situation, but she just doesn't want to come out. So Milton is going to kindly advise everybody uh, that maybe it's time to wrap this up because uh, unfortunately we are having a little bit of a breakdown in the bathroom so thank you everybody for coming but we're gonna wrap up the uh, baby shower a little bit early <laughs> thank you for all the presents and the gifts feel free to take any leftovers if you're interested and uh yeah we'll keep you posted on the progress of the baby wow what a party a part of janelle can't help but kind of laugh at her best friends misfortune just seeing Kyra not get what she wants for the first time kind of it tickled her in her soft spot I'm not gonna lie um Jake actually has to go do um a little bit of a side job right now so he's just dropping off Janelle at the front door they're saying their goodbyes and he's gonna go ahead off for a little bit while she gets inside and gets all cozy she's super super duper tired and very exhausted I almost said exhausting exhausted but first we need to have ourselves um a little a little lychee soda oh my gosh wow i can't even believe that happened kyra locked herself in the bathroom and cried pretty similar to when janelle had her sixth birthday party and kyra decided she was gonna break the pinata <laughs> and not janelle who was the birthday girl Ooh, revenge who knew it could taste so sweet i do need to have janelle go and use the restroom but you know what that that soda like just isn't sitting with her really well what is that i don't know why like she loves she loves loves these lychee sodas and it's kind of making her like her tummy curl hopefully after a good night's sleep she feels a lot better in the morning we're gonna have her change into her robe and she really needs to use the bathroom so i'll go and have her do that now i did want to take a little peek at the calendar and see what kind of holidays are coming up so we actually have uh quite a ways until Winterfest, which i am personally really excited about she can't wait to actually like kiss somebody underneath the mistletoe um but hmm <laughs> Well, on closer inspection, Janelle just realized she's late for her period, and usually she's pretty regular. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a pregnancy test, right? But like, <laughs> what are the odds? I, I, I'm i not really sure. Um, let's go and have her use the bathroom really quick. Uh, we're going to take a quick pregnancy test. It's only $15. It's not that big of a deal. The girl, she's got like <laughs> a little bit in the bank right now, and she's really got to go to the bathroom. So let's have her go and take a quick little, a quick little pee test here. <sighs> All right. I wonder how long it's going to take to show up. Okay. All right, we're peeing. We're doing the things. Totally fine. Hmm. This is taking a lot longer than it normally does, to be honest with you. Oh, all right. Last little... What? What the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. She's... No, you're lying. You're freaking lying. <gasps> Jake is going to have a baby with Janelle. No, I'm so excited. 
excited. Maybe I shouldn't be excited. How does she feel about it? I just want to know. She doesn't have any sort of emotions right now, actually. Um, sometimes people will have, you know, positive or negative emotions because I have a mod. But I think I think. I think the girl's in shock. Let's wash her hands really quick because she can't even believe that she's she's pregnant. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. She's gonna have a baby with Jake. Oh my god. What the heck? Wait, no, really though. What the what the heck is this? What the hell? What is this? Janelle's never seen this vial um of liquid before, but the only other person that was in here was Jake. Wait, hold on. Is he taking testosterone? Really? Janelle's feeling really confused right now. Meanwhile, the father of her unborn child, the love of her life, the man that could do no wrong is out here causing a ruckus. He literally just stole 375 simoleons from this performer and she didn't even notice. Not to mention he went to Patchy's and kind of was causing a little bit of a disturbance. He did reach all of his promotion tasks. And at this point in the game, Jake is thinking to himself, well, if I can't join him, I'm going to beat him. He has high ambitions, y'all. And when I'm talking high, I'm talking the type that might just put his life on the line. This is the side of Jake that Janelle has never seen. And honest to God, I hope that she never will. Anyways, the sun is coming up. We should probably head home. We're just going to, uh, you know, just steal a couple of random packages and some posters off the uh, utility um, containers or whatever the heck they're called. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part here. I hope that you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. I'm just do what I want. I'm so goddamn tired of people trying to tell me how to live my life. I'm getting so sick of people trying to tell me what's wrong or right. I'm losing my patience. I don't care about what you think. No. I'm so goddamn tired.